Hi, I'm Michaela from MichaelaCreates.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson of my beginner sewing series, we are going to be making an apron. I have picked up uh, two meters of uh, two contrasting fabrics because uh, this apron will be reversible so I really wanted my fabrics to kind of work together but be a little bit different so I've gone for a pink check here and a pink and white stripe um, which I think look really nice they're both cottons as well so I would definitely recommend sticking to cotton um, for this project I do have a PDF pattern available on my website for this I will leave the link in the description box below if you want to download that if you have just joined us in this lesson of the beginner sewing series and you are just wanting to make the apron no worries but if you do want to jump into the rest of the beginner sewing series it's here on my youtube channel for free you can find the link in the description box below so once you have printed out the pdf pattern on my website you'll just want to grab your fabric so i'm going to cut out both of my layers together um, but you could cut these out separately if you don't feel comfortable doing that So what I'm doing here is just matching up both of the folds so that I can then place my apron pattern on the fold uh, onto both layers of fabric and then I can cut them both out together rather than having to cut out and lay up twice. That's just a little bit of a tip for you. Um, and then I'm just going to pop in some pins all the way around my apron to hold the fabric in place then I can just cut around with my fabric scissors. So now we want to cut out our ties. So I'm just going to cut out the ties the same way that I cut out my apron um, because I want to have contrasting ties as well. Um, I think that would just be really cute to have stripe and then checkered ties and then the other way around as well. So just make sure that if you are cutting out the same fabric that um, you cut out uh, two pairs of each of these ties. So make sure your machine is all set up, I have a lesson on that in the beginner sewing playlist and then I am setting my machine on stitch, uh, normal stitch and then um, on two and a half to three for the stitch length. So I'm wanting to mix and match my ties so I'm going to grab one of the check and one of the stripe for the longest tie and I'm just going to uh, start to sew this together. So to do that I'm just going to pop in some pins just down the center like that because I'm going to be sewing on both sides and so you want there to be enough room to kind of sew around you don't have to use pins if you don't want to um, I'm just going to pin there for showing you for an example okay so to start you just want to sew uh, one centimeter in from the raw edges of the ties so I'm just um, marking that up on my sewing machine here and I'm just going to back tap at the beginning of my ties to secure that stitch. And then you just want to sew all the way around with a one centimeter seam allowance. When you get to the end here, you just want to do a pivot and keep sewing so that you're on the one centimeter mark 
and keep sewing. Now coming to the end of our tie, we just want to back tack a couple of times and then make sure that your needle is up and lift up your foot pedal. You can see the areas where we have just pivoted, so I'm just going to cut off the corners um, to help that turn through a lot nicer. Now for this step, you could grab a sewing uh, needle or something long that you can poke through um, to turn this through to the right side. So now you just want to grab the end that we have closed up and pop in something that you can turn it through with. So I'm just going to use this not sharp end of my uh, sewing needle because I don't want it to poke through the fabric. Um, and then just start to push it all the way through to the open end. Now you just want to grab your iron and start to press the straps down because at the moment they are a little bit puffy so it's really nice to get them looking crisp and flat by giving them a really good press with your iron. Now you just want to continue sewing all of your ties until you have four. You will have two long ties and two shorter ties which are to go around the neck. The long ties are to go around your waist. Once you have all of the ties turned through, grab your longer straps, so here are my two long straps, and some pins, and what we're going to do is uh, pin these to the sides here. So I want mine to be uh, contrasting, so when you sew your two pieces together, you want them to be right sides together. So this is the outside of my apron that will be seen and then I want the stripy side to be showing with this side of my apron. So to do that I'm just going to pop the stripe side down which is right sides together and I'm also wanting to make sure that I'm leaving about a centimeter I gap from where I pop my tie because I'm going to need to sew the seam of the uh, contrasting piece along that edge. Do the same for the other side of your apron. And then you want to make sure you're pinning the open end of your ties to the apron, not the closed end. And then at the top of the apron, uh, you want to do the same thing, so grabbing your short ties now. So I'm going to pop this at the top and I'm going to make sure that there is a one centimeter gap from the edge um, into the tie because we will be sewing a seam along there. Now that all of your ties are pinned to the apron, you can grab your contrasting fabric, so the other layer, and what you want to do is unfold it and then right sides together, you want to pop it onto, pretty much on top of your apron you've just pinned the ties to. And you just want to pop in some pins because what we're going to be doing is sewing all the way around our apron now to close it up. But we will be leaving a small gap um, so that we're able to turn it through to the right sides. So now we want to close up our apron. So I'm going to start sewing from this edge and the seam allowance is one centimeter as it was around the ties. This is the top edge of the apron. So when you get to the end here, you want to make sure that you're able to pivot and there is uh, a one centimeter seam allowance still and then you want to continue sewing along this curved edge.
I'm actually going to stop about midway here on the bottom of my apron and do a back tack so that I'm able to pull out my work and then I'm going to flip it around and start sewing from the top again. And now this is so that we can have an opening at the bottom of our apron to turn it through. And it's in a spot where we will easily be able to close it without it being too noticeable. Once you get about 10 centimeters from the other back tack at the bottom of the apron, back tack again and take your work out of the sewing machine. This will be the opening that we're going to turn our apron through in the next step. Also just make sure that you have removed all of the pins before you start to turn your apron through. So how I like to do this is just kind of pop my fingers into the corners and push them through. You could cut the corners off but I'm not going to today. Um, so once you get to here just be careful because you will probably have a pin in there holding your tie and then you can start to pull through your ties now this here is what i like to call bagging out so essentially you are keeping all of your seams inside of the garment and they won't be seen from the outside it's just a really nice way to sew things um, with really nice finishings especially for something like an apron As you can see we've got a really nice finish there on the edges of the apron because we took the time to uh, line up where our ties were going. So to close up the hole at the bottom I just like to fold down one centimeter on both sides and then hold it in place and I'm just going to grab the iron and just give it a nice press in place and then we can sew that down on the sewing machine so I'm just going to pop in some pins so I remember then you just want to edge stitch along the bottom opening of your apron So I really hope that you enjoyed making this apron with me. It's definitely a really great beginner sewing project to get you started and kind of learning a few of those techniques like how we've made this reversible and bagged out and then creating ties. All sorts of things there that are really great techniques to get your head around. But when you start to sew sewing projects from things like patterns, if you don't need an apron but you really want to follow along with this tutorial, think about gifting it to a family member. It would make a really great gift in a little gift basket with some cooking utensils utensils and maybe some yummy little treats as well. People really appreciate thoughtful gifts like that. If you did really enjoy this episode of my beginner sewing series please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next episodes of this beginner sewing series. We will be starting to learn how to sew ruffles which I'm really excited about. If you haven't already noticed I have a lot of gathering and frills and just really pretty details in a lot of my projects and my sewing patterns as well which you can find in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you really enjoy making yourself a reversible apron and I will see you in the next episode of my beginner sewing series.